Hey guys, what's going on? So, I'm over here at my grandfather's house, uh, fixing up some stuff. Got the dogs over here, barking at the cows. <laughs> they love it over here. We got a big old backyard. But anyway, so, um, my, I suggested getting a um, smart thermostat for the house and uh, they got the T5 plus smart thermostat from Honeywell. Our AC system doesn't have um, a C wire that goes from the unit to the to the thermostat itself so Honeywell has this C adapter uh, thingamabob and had hell with it trying to get it all installed wouldn't work uh, something would happen where um, where it would just shut off automatically and stuff so I thought it was something I did put the old thermostat on over here so this is what it looks like it's touch screen it run the only way it'll run the nest nest or thermostats they run off of a battery so they leach power but this one has to have a C so this is the old thermostat I just did this and then there's the bracket behind here and I'll show them later so fiddling around trying to get everything even with the old it still wouldn't turn on it still was acting all weird Ended up finding out it's uh, the breaker so the um, breaker, um, the top one is uh, kind of bad. If you turn it on, sometimes it won't do a con uh, connect back and then it will have like a spark sound. So very unsafe, not something that we want. And then uh, the breakers are probably 20 plus years old. So um, I'm just replacing both just to be sure. The top one I know for sure, but the bottom one still kind of feels okay, but they were 40 bucks for both, so I was like, my mom, grandfather said, okay, go on and replace them. So that's what I'm going to be doing here, and then um, once I get done with that, I'll uh, show you kind of how you set up this, um, this um, C adapter, and then we'll go from there. Um, so... Let me see if I can kind of show you what you pretty much need to do. Breakers are really easy. Just make sure the power source is completely cut off <laughs> from the breaker outside or if it's inside. This is a double protection. So instead of having to go outside, you, you can just disconnect the source here. Um, but um, so you got some spades on one side. And then you, uh, you know, just unplug, unplug it back in. Then you have two lugs on the back, uh, back side of here. Let me see. Let me show you. So you got two lugs, while, you know, right here, um, and then that—that's pretty much it. And then you just unhook it, put it all back together, easy peasy. I'm not really gonna show you all how to do all this because I'm not certified. And I don't want to be reliable. It's just pretty much unplug these, unplug that, plug it back in. No biggie. But this one can be a little bit tricky. Um, so I'll, I'll show you. The, they have a video on Honeywell Web's, uh, YouTube, I think, that shows you. But uh, I'll show you anyway. So let's get to it. All right. I got it done. All the breakers are pretty much look the same. But, um, so this top one, so what it was doing is whenever you put it to the on position, it was real light, didn't have no resistance to it, and then it would like, so I was like, yeah, this one's bad, and then whenever I tried to turn on the fan or something, it would just trip out, so, uh, everything's good, wasn't that hard, probably took me maybe 45 minutes or something. So on to the, the, the Honeywell thing. 
Uh, I don't remember if I showed this earlier. Um, so this is what it is. So you have R, K, C, and W. So the green wire or G wire turns into C and then the Y wire turns into K. And then it has a pigtail and they're all labeled thankfully. So you got the Y, the W, the G, the R, and the C. C stands for common. It's just a kind of a power source for some thermostats. Um, I think most of your older AC systems don't really have a common wire. Uh, I could be wrong, maybe up north, but like if it's like this, where it's uh, electric heat pump, electric AC, all that good stuff. Typically down here, we don't have a C wire. I have yet to see uh, any basic ones like this. Maybe a two-step or something may have have it you just have to check your um, system to see how many wires you have if you have a C wire then you don't need this adapter but if you don't ha have a C wire you're gonna have to have this adapter no matter what because there's no battery with inside the T5 plus now Honeywell does make a, I think it's the T10 and the Azura or something like that they have a battery built in to them so you don't need the C wire necessarily because it leaches power, just kind of like the Nest uh, Thermo. They they both uh, they all leach power, so that's one reason why I don't have to do this type of step, thankfully. Uh, so basically, what you'll do, let me put this down. Um, you'll go onto the board. If you don't feel comfortable with this, get maybe a friend or someone. Hold on. Uh. -uh. You'll get a friend or even an AC guy. I really don't recommend it because, I mean, it's not that hard. Um, you look for where your blower uh, unit is. And it's just right here. So <clears throat> it's going to be kind of hard. So you'll see where it says W, Y, G, R, and C. So you'll take the pigtail on this and plug that into here. So you'll plug these into the board and then you'll take the other wires and plug that into here. And like I said, the G turns into C and the Y turns into K. And then on the uh, wall, where your thermostat is, it'll, it'll do the same thing. So you have to move them around. So let me get this installed and I'll show you kind of how it looks and then we'll go from there. All right. So, <clears throat> here it is, everything's all done. Everything's plugged up in here. So my Y wire is supposed to, usually it's yellow. Usually your C wire is blue, but, so, either way, everything's all hooked up over on this side, where it needs to be. And just kind of tuck this away. I would hang it if I could, but there's fabric, so I know it's not going to stay for very long. So I just try to keep it out of the way as best as I can. And then let's go over to the wall. You already out of water? So this is what the unit looks like. They painted around. It's not my job, huh? So, got this hooked up. I got it like uh, squared as possible. It's still a little crooked, but it is what it is. So, R to R, uh, the Y to K, W to W, uh, green, uh, G to C. That's pretty much it. And then, we'll plug this in. And that's pretty much it. So let's, uh, let me turn these breakers back on and then we'll go from there. All right, so got the breakers on outside. Put these on, there we go. Careful if you do this, a lot of electricity. So, all right, so we got it back on. go to heat and 
and then uh, we'll see if I did it right. <laughs> I've had nothing but issues, so um, I'm just trying to see if this is actually going to work and not trip out. Once it starts turning on, I'll come back to you because it usually takes about maybe a minute or so because it's waiting on a reset. Ooh, y'all missed it. I just busted my butt <laughs> trying to climb up here and check the vent, make sure it's hot. So yeah, everything is working well now. So we're good to go. It's back in business. All I gotta do is put this panel back on. Hey, my knees hurt. Busting my knees on the on the uh, dresser. That's fun. So it's working good now. That's pretty much it on. Uh, you know what you need to do I oh, didn't mean to have this video run so long I might try to cut it down a little bit but um, anyway like I said they, these are little videos like I like to do I'm a little I like to do things like this so uh, if you find this interesting uh, like subscribe uh, give me more ideas what you'd like to see uh, you know everything I do I try to try to post you know cuz uh, sometimes you may not find exactly what you're looking for you know like this uh, insulation of all this I didn't find it I actually had to go directly to the manufacturer um, but the manufacturer they make it look all easy and stuff and it's really not so anyway um, if uh, you enjoyed it like I said like subscribe um, and um, leave comments down below and do what inspires you thanks